Hey you guys, I'm back. Um, I just posted two videos and I'm on a roll. So I figure why stop at two and you know, just make another one. So hey, I am back. I'm going to do an art journal share real quick. Um, Rhonda, who is a heart, heart music soul RJ on here on YouTube. Hey Rhonda, what's up? Um, we do monthly art journal challenges and this is for the month of October. And I think that we had two set up. I'm not sure if we're just doing two if we're, or if we're doing more. I came up with um, two and I think Rhonda has to come up with two. But I know she's like super duper busy. Um, so I think we're just going to do two this month. Um, anyway, I'm working on the other one. But I'm just going to show you the one that I have now. I finished this a while ago. Um, I think I finished it like in October actually to tell you the truth. But I just wanted to show you real quickly um, these labels. This isn't the art journal challenge, but um, I just outlined them and shaded it in a little bit so that it didn't look so like plain and just stuck on the jars like that. But anyway, this is the um, one of the pages that I um, requested to do for this month. Um, I wanted, I love. The saying create a happy home or so I I said that we had to do something with that saying and then something with houses because I love houses and then um, the other parameter was that it had to be like paper paper piecing or collage like so I paper pieced or I did some collage with the houses and then um, I did a layer of gesso on the bottom and then a yellow, I took a yellow gelato, which I think is lemon or lemonade or something. I don't know the, the name. And then I did that all over. And then I used the Prima Color Bloom sprays with some stencils. And I did the stenciling in the background. You can see the Prima. And the lavender with the purple is really, really pretty, but I covered, I covered up most of the purple. I wish you could see it. It's really, really pretty. And then I used some stenciling with um, some modeling paste and I just colored, I just used, um, I mixed it with some acrylic paint, some purple acrylic paint. And then these are paper hearts that I just die cut. And then I have the hearts coming out of the chimneys in smoke because it's a home filled with love. And I used, um, a red gelato to make it look like it was all in smoke and the houses have numbers on them these numbers represent our or my wedding date our anniversary date it's 5239 which is May 23rd 2009 and these houses are also filled I also put like words on there like family love adore cherish Laughter, smile, and trust and encourage. I cut out little um, doors. I paper pieced the doors and the windows. And I love the um, sidewalk. And then I did a little doodling on each of the houses. I doodled some faux stitching. And... Um, I guess that's it. There's not much else to say about this page. Um, I can't wait to see yours, Rhonda, and I know you're really busy, but um, um, I hope you can get some time to um, make something soon. Um, I will text you later, and I will talk to you guys later. This will probably be my last video of the day. So have a great weekend. Talk to you guys later. Bye.